Well, it is going to be a hot weekend, so I've come up with some things you can do on the grill this weekend that doesn't require you to stand outside in the heat. Some whole chickens that are going to cook kind of slowly, so you sort of put them on and basically forget about them for about an hour and a half or so. I'm doing three different styles of them. Uh, vertical chickens, as a matter of fact. Each, each chicken I'm going to coat with some olive oil. I'm going to rub all that in a little bit later on. But this first one, uh, you, I have recipes up on the web to make your own uh, rub. But uh, I came across this new line of uh, rubs and sauces, Old Arthur's, that is really delicious. So I'm going to use uh, these today. This one is uh, called the Crossroads Dry Rub, which is really good on poultry. And this one we're going to do beer can style. So I've got a beer that I've, I've poured off a little, but it wasn't so hot on site. Uncle Dean might have had a little bit of this beer himself, but you pour off about half of it and then the chicken just sits right on top of the beer can. And then that's gonna go on the grill at about 400 degrees. This one's gonna be barbecue. This one's called a righteous poultry rub. And this one is just a little, as you can see, it's a little redder. It's a little more uh, cayenne-based, chili powder-based. Go to a mess that I've made, so I'm gonna stop for a second, clean my hands, and we'll move on to a Greek-style chicken. I've already put the uh, pepper on it, uh, some uh, salt is the base of pretty much any kind of Greek-style dish that you do. There has to be oregano on it. There has to be some rosemary. It's a fantastic aromatic blend that we're going to put on it. And also some uh, dried thyme. You've got fresh, put the fresh on, but you don't really need to. This is just gonna get completely massaged into both sides of the chicken, onto which we're also gonna put some chopped garlic as well. Now, if you can let this marinate in a plastic bag for uh, you know at least a couple of hours, as much as overnight, you know, that's fine too. And then this guy is gonna go on one of these vertical roasters that are a lot sturdier than flimsy beer cans. And then these are gonna go on the grill. About an hour, an hour and a half, the internal temperature, when you take the temperature, you're gonna put it into the meatiest, fattest side of the chicken. It should be about 100, 165 degrees. And then this is what we wind up with. These guys are just beautiful. Here is the beer can chicken. The beer inside of it has just kind of vaporized and put all these wonderful fumes uh, throughout the inside of the beer and leaves a fantastic uh, flavor on it. This is going to be the just the regular roasted uh, chicken that's gonna be a little more barbecue style. And here comes the Greek style chicken. Look how beautiful this is. This one. And this is really all that's left uh, to do with these. I'm gonna use these tongs because they're kind of flimsy. For the barbecue chicken, you put the barbecue sauce. Really, you can put the barbecue sauce about five minutes before you take it off of the grill so it kind of cooks on it, but you don't want to put it on too soon because the uh, sugars in the barbecue sauce will melt. That's a regular mild style barbecue sauce. This one's a little hotter. Uh, both are, are really, really good. And this Creek style chicken, you know, here's the Greek style chicken is a mixture of uh, lemon juice, olive oil, and all the same spices, the oregano, the uh, rosemary, and the uh, thyme. Uh, fantastic. And then, you know, just let's let these rest for a little while. Look how beautiful that is. That's screaming opa at you right there. We've got all these recipes up at WGNTV.com slash Dean Cooks. Happy cooking this hot weekend. Send it back to you guys.